Hey everyone, I'm Dahlia Roz and I'm an artist. I have a bunch of followers on TikTok and on Instagram. It's pretty cool. I get to share my art with the world. People look at videos, they know it's my video because I've branded myself in a very specific, colorful, weird, fun way. And someone messaged me this week and said, how do I brand myself? How do I create a personal brand as an artist? And I thought, hmm, how did I do that? So I'm gonna tell you guys how I did it in this video. This is not a planned video. I don't have a list in front of me of ways to brand yourself. I'm just gonna say the things that come off the top of my head. I'm just gonna tell you as though you're sitting in front of me and ask me this question right now. So my first piece of advice, if you wanna get good at branding, marketing yourself in general, is you are not gonna get that from one YouTube video. At the end of this YouTube video, you will not be a marketing expert. I know that's shocking, but sometimes you come to a YouTube video and you think, quick life hack, I'm gonna get this. Marketing and branding are not quick life hacks. They are skills the same way painting is a skill. If you watched one 10 minute YouTube video about painting, you wouldn't call yourself a professional painter and you wouldn't even be disappointed if you weren't that good at painting yet. So cut yourself some slack and be nice to yourself you are not going to be a professional marketer at the end of this video that's okay but you're starting so in order to get there you might ask what can you do to further your knowledge beyond this one video i say read books and watch more videos about marketing and branding if you have to read one book about branding yourself i would say read the 22 immutable laws of branding i'll link that down below i listen to the audible version because i like audiobooks while i'm making art uh, but you can get the physical book too. I think it's a great book because it just gives you really concrete ways to brand yourself that makes you really unique and specific. And I think it's a great book to start off with. My first piece of advice is just educate yourself as much as you can. My second piece of advice is now just be yourself. I know those pieces of advice are contradictory because I'm like, learn a lot. You're not ready. And also just start. Both are true. You need to educate yourself. And I constantly am educating myself. I watch YouTube videos about marketing almost every day. I'm constantly updating myself, educating myself. But also, I just let myself create. I'm just like, I'm a fun weird person i'm gonna go on the internet and dye my armpit hair and that's how i got my first 10,000 followers on tiktok was just a video of me dyeing my armpit hair turquoise to match my head hair the video got 2 million views and i didn't make the video thinking yeah this is my branding this is my marketing i just made that video but sometimes i'll make videos and think what message do i want to give that is in line with the type of marketing and branding i'm doing that's in line with why i create so i recommend both educating yourself but nonetheless keep creating don't stop creating and take the time to think about what your brand is and then just put stuff out there do both both take time and be intentional but also don't stop yourself if you have a creative idea and you don't know how it fits into your brand, put it out there. Still put it out there because if you don't, your brand won't develop. Your brand isn't going to appear overnight. At least it didn't for me. I started by just creating things and eventually I figured out what my personal brand was and then I honed in on it. So I started by making videos of me just like making big paintings. And on occasion, I give some advice in my videos and people really connected to that. And now... I have a list that says like, what are the goals of my content? I have that up on my wall. What are words to describe my content? So now I have all of that information, but I didn't when I started out. When I started out, I was just like, I just wanna help people and help other creative people and help people be more creative. So my third piece of advice is to know why are you creating content? A lot of people come to me and ask, how do you get attention on social media? And I tell them by asking that question, you will not get attention on social media. If you just ask, how can I get more attention? You're not going to get attention. No one just wants to give you attention. No one cares. You have to care about people or they won't care about you. I make videos to help other people. I make videos to give advice. I make videos that inspire, that entertain, that celebrate being a person, videos that make you feel something good. That's what I give. And that's why I have a lot of followers because people want that, they want that energy. 
So you have to ask yourself, what are you giving? What are you giving to people through your content and through your branding and through your marketing? Like, why are you creating? What are you giving by sharing your art? Not what are you getting? You can't go into making a personal brand and think, what am I getting from this? That cannot be your first question. It's a good question. You should know what you want to get out of building a business or building a personal brand, but that can't be your first question. Your first question has to be, what am I giving? So ask yourself, take a good day or even one hour to sit and think, what can I give through my creative work? What can I give by making videos? So that has to be your first question. What am I giving? And then after you say, what are you giving? The second question is, how can I give it? If I want to celebrate being a person, celebrate being alive, I'm going to do that by making art with bright colors. I'm going to do that by splattering paint. I'm going to do that by showing it in how I behave. So first, it's asking yourself, what am I giving? And then how am I giving it? So sometimes I'll give it in long form videos like this. Sometimes I'll give it by just demonstrating how I live the things I want to give to you. My fourth piece of advice for branding yourself is to look at other people and ask yourself what you like about their branding and what you don't. Don't share this with anyone. If you don't like someone's branding or marketing, do not tell them. That's mean and unnecessary. But you can go on social media and see who are artists, who are other creative people who I like their brand. I don't know why yet, but I just like it. That you have an instinctive attraction to this person's brand. If you're watching this video, maybe you like my brand. So you can look at my page and say, what do I like about Dahlia? What is she giving that makes me want to keep watching her content? If it's not me, you can go to someone else. Go to other artists. Go to other creators. I don't only get inspiration from other artists. I get a lot of inspiration from entrepreneurs, self-care influencers. Like a lot of different people inspire me and my brand. It's not just artists. So go and look at different influencers, different creators, and see what about their brand do you like? Do they speak to the camera? Do they do voiceovers? Are they... What messages are they sending? So I recommend just go and spend some time on social media, but actively think, what do I like about this person? You can also go and look and see, what don't I like? What don't I want to become? There are plenty of influencers that I look at their videos and I'm like, oh, I do not want to be that way. I do not want to be like that person. And then I think, what about them do I not like? I don't share this information because it's mean information, <laughs> but you should take time to observe people around you or on social media and say what do i like about them and what don't i what you like about them adopt what you don't like make sure that you don't become like the people that you don't like my next piece of advice is to be genuine if you go on social media and you say i really care about this cause but you don't people are going to see that if you go and say hey thanks everyone for following me but you don't mean it People are going to feel that. You have to be genuine in what you do or people will see right through it. Maybe not immediately, but with time, they will see through the facade. You have to be who you are on social media. You have to be real because if you're not real, people will see that and it'll catch up to you. I see that. I've met influencers that in the beginning, people loved them. And then over time, people sort of realized, hey, this person is not being genuine. So you have to be real. You have to be genuine. You don't have to share everything about yourself. And that's okay. I don't share everything about my life. I share a lot. People feel connected to me because they do know a lot about me, but I don't share everything. There's plenty of stuff I don't talk about on social media, but that's okay. My last piece of advice is to know why you're creating for yourself. Why do you love to create? Why are you creating? I never tell people why I actually create. It's deep and it's profound and it's personal and I don't talk about the reasons I make art. But I make art from that place of knowing why I do it. I know why I make art. I make art for really personal reasons and I don't want to talk about them. It's not for you guys to know. It's not for anyone aside from me and like a few close people to know that about me. But the messages that I send out into the world come from that personal place. 
I know why I make art and I know what messages I would need to hear if I were looking at someone else's art. So if you're not sure who your audience is, just pretend it's you. Pretend you're the one on the For You page. What do you want to see? What video do you want to see? What advice do you want to hear? What do you need to see today? Make videos for yourself because other people out there are similar to you and they need the things that you need. So start by making videos for you. Make a brand that you want to see. Make the brand that you wish existed. Make the brand for you, not for selfish reasons, but pretend that your audience is you or pretend that the audience is a younger version of you. That is something that helps me a lot. I don't necessarily need the to hear the advice that I'm giving today, but my 18 year old self needed to hear the advice I'm giving today. So sometimes when I don't know what to do for a voiceover or for a video, I'll just say, what did 18 year old Dahlia need to hear? I'm 25 now, so I'm like, that's a while ago. What did I need to hear when I was younger? And that really helps me come up with what does my audience need? It's what did I need? And that's really profound. You might get emotional thinking about it, actually. I know I do sometimes because I'll think, what did younger me need to hear? And then I'm like, wow, I wish I could give that to her. I really wish I could, but I can't. But I can give that to someone else. And how amazing is that? That you can give something that your younger self needed that she didn't get and you can give that to someone else. And that is so meaningful to me. So create from a place of caring create from a place of excitement and most importantly don't create from a place of searching for validation for your creations from the internet don't make art just to get compliments because you're also going to get a lot of mean comments if you post your work oh you will get so many mean comments and you might be sad if you're going on the internet for people to tell you your art is good and then they tell you it sucks you're going to be sad and you're going to stop creating so you have to create the art for yourself you have to have a deep reason why you're creating and then you'll be fine even if people say the meanest things i've gotten the most aggressive comments you can imagine on social media seriously i delete a lot of them when they're super mean so you won't see them on my page but i've gotten horrible comments but I keep creating because I love creating, because I know why I create, because I live to create. And it doesn't matter if someone tells me that I made bad art because I love making art more than I love everyone approving of who I am. I don't need everyone to like my art. I don't need everyone to like my brand. Don't be the brand for everyone. Be the brand for you and for people like you. That's the best piece of advice I can give. So I really hope this video helped you. Uh, please comment below if there's any other branding advice you would give or any other questions you have for future videos. Send me a DM over on Instagram. I try to reply to as many people as I can. And this video was inspired by a DM, so maybe the next video will be inspired by yours. If you haven't yet done so and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you hated this video, go watch a different video. There's so many on YouTube. You don't need to write a hate comment. You just don't. Anyways, Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps and have an amazing day.